When John Wessel came to the University of South Dakota in 2013, it didn't take him long to find his spot on the field. After earning a start at linebacker in his first game as a true freshman, he would go on to play in 35 straight games in his first three years, including 25 starts. But an injury in last year's fall camp got his senior year off to a rough start. I think it was six practices into fall camp or something like that. Ordinary team rep and uh, didn't really feel like much and all of a sudden kind of moved my thumb and I was like, man, that doesn't feel right. It's kind of clicking and popping. Uh, it doesn't, it's not moving quite the way it should be. You know, we got x-rays and had a Bennett's fracture, I believe they call it, in, the, in my thumb. Um, it required surgery and three pins to get put in and they told me I was going to miss the first five to six weeks. They said with this specific fracture, it's, um, it's just really important that we get it all healed up before you get going again. And that was, it. that was the first injury. Wessel would miss the first two games of the season, but he returned to his starting role in week three against North Dakota. But that return was short-lived. First off, it felt great, you know what I mean? Going into it, thumb felt fine. It was in, you know, it was in a cast and felt really good. I had no problems with that. Turned out four plays in, um, kind of overran a play a little bit. And when I tried to come back and, and uh, make the tackle, threw my arm out and pop went the shoulder and it felt pretty pretty destroyed. It took us a while to get it back in. And I'd, I'd had that happen before, so I knew what it felt like, and I knew that immediately, you know, that it was, it was out of place, and um, we got the MRI, and it showed that it, the, the shoulder was shot. Um, my labrum was pretty much completely torn, and it was decided on surgery right away. Rather than let injuries define his lost season, Wessel used it as an opportunity to improve as a leader. You know, in the meeting rooms, you would still just try to point out things that you'd seen before. You know, you, you play these teams, you know, once a year, you, you've seen them all. You've seen a lot of the guys that were playing, you know, and just sharing little things that you'd seen before um, from when you played them. Just trying to teach them as much as you can. You know, just give them the, really the rundown as quick as you can too before each game of just, you know, what, what's kind of worked with these teams in the past, the game plan, um, you know, and just and trying to share my knowledge of the game with them. Over the middle, and it's intercepted! Intercepted by Wessel! Wessel applied for a medical hardship waiver and was granted a fifth year of eligibility. And to no one's surprise, he was named a team captain for the second year in a row. It's a huge honor, it really is. I'm really proud of that and I really take that to heart, you know, showing that I have to continue to, to grow as a leader. You know, that's one thing that I've been very lucky to do is I've been lucky to play quite a bit um, and just, you know, leading on the field, off the field. Um, and I just, I, I really do, I take it to heart and I take a lot of pride in just being able to um, help the guys, you know, make their careers be a, a huge success. Though he won't see much live action this spring, he's still on the sidelines every day and continues to try to work his way back onto the field. Doing all the individual drills, I do seven on seven, stuff like that. Shoulders feeling great. It's kind of funny actually in seven on seven, you know, me and Randy Baker ran into each other and that was kind of my first hit, you know, after being back. Um, and it, you know, felt fantastic. So I'm just really excited to continue to, to continue rehab it, strengthen it up, you know, keep lifting and everything like that um, and get back for the fall. The Coyotes will practice eight more times before the spring game, which is scheduled for Friday, April 21st at 7 p.m. at the Dakota Dome. For Goyotes.com, I'm Chase Christensen.